Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Respawning Podcast uh, version 2.0, whatever. Um, episode 5, I remembered this time. I have. There's no need for that this early on, mate. There's no need for taking the mic. Like, we're only just started. What, what's that all about? I know. Like, okay, I can tell you, I, I can tell you why Havs being childish, because today we are here to talk about mostly the PlayStation 5. <laughs> about to I left me. Some of us. <laughs> Stop <laughs> yeah, recording. Bye. <laughs> uh, because uh, two out of three of us have had the PS5 for a week now um, so we just kind of want to talk about that some of the games we played on it and a few other bits and pieces as well um, but yeah we just kind of want to give our first impressions after actually having it for a week and sort of getting used to it and all the rest of it yeah. Um, so yeah uh, as usual I'm Mikey I'm with Havan and Luke you probably all know us by now from uh, watching every other podcast yeah and all our videos um, we do of course come to you do of course come to you every two weeks with the podcast um so yeah make sure you're subscribed and all that right let's crack on so ps5 one week with it have how you finding it oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, luke how you finding it <laughs> um it's all right that's about it to be honest um I think that Miles, Miles was great. Pounds well spent. 450 pounds later, I think that Miles was quite fun. But honestly, between Spider-Man PS4 and Miles, I couldn't notice a massive difference. Um, Valhalla is a big change, but I'll go on different on that. Um, and I hate the UI. So, so far, so good, yeah. I guess. Um, I can't access trophies without it being a massive hassle. I haven't worked out how to access any of my PlayStation Plus stuff yet because can't quite work out how I get to like the cloud save files or any of the PlayStation Plus games without actively having to search for them. Um, I wouldn't go I, I wouldn't go anywhere near cloud saves anyway at the moment. No, because... I've I've learned from you not to go near that because they've been cocking up, haven't they? Yeah. Um, and again, oh. like that there's bugs. So there's there's like massive screen tearing issues. Um oh, massive, I don't have like, that. Oh, have you not? Have you seen it online? No, like, no, there's no, there's, there's huge no. issues where basically with every game, there's these two big banners of like tearing across the screen, yeah. and the I'm due to like lucky I've not had that. I've stuff. had some issues, but I've not had that. Oh, um, right. And the only way they've been able to work out how to get rid of it is to send your PlayStation back to Sony and then wait till December when they have new stock. Like, oh god, that's the only <laughs> way to fix it so far. So ultimately, one week on with the PlayStation Five, and three of the nights I've been on the PlayStation Four instead. To be honest, really, um, one of the big See, things I've not that I'm having. PS4. I've been having issues because I still like to play Dark Souls, like one through three, quite a lot, and it won't download like the um, the synchronizations for it. So I'm like, I can't be asked. So I end up playing um, my PS Four instead. So, so far, I'm kind of like, it's all right. Like, I wish I'd waited a little bit, to be honest. Um, it's not quite ready to be a PS5 yet, is it? Does that, that's the impression I get, is it's it's been launched, but it needs a couple of good big patches before it's going to yeah. be proper next gen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And also, I hate the controller. Do you? I don't like it. What? I really want to like it, but... I um, yeah. I f you know, like the handles, they're um, like where you, where you obviously hold on, they're slightly longer. And my fingers and my whole hands haven't gotten mm. used to the muscle memory of having to like reach a little bit further to sort of press the triggers yet. And it irritates me to a point where like I was doing one of them and I was like getting a bit confused because of, like it's only a few, like it's only maybe yeah. like a centimeter off or something. But because I've I'm so conditioned from the past seven years of the DualShock 4, it's thrown me for a loop a little bit. I've gotten used to it a little bit now, but and I'm sure that mm -hmm. um, I'll, I will love the controller after a while. To be fair, once I start, I started playing a bit more Astro Boy today, and I did start to like the yeah. controller a lot more because it gives you a lot more of a feel of what it could be. Spider-Man, they were like, oh, all mm -hmm. of this cool stuff you could do with the controller, and I was like, where is it? Like, I've not actually seen any of this cool stuff. With the controller, yeah. See, I, I did I did notice it in Spider Man. Um, thing is, you say about like Astro's Playroom. I played Astro's Playroom in its entirety from beginning to end. 
before I even turned on Miles Morales. Right. So I, I kind of felt before I even jumped into any game properly, I already had a complete um, sort of idea of the controller. I felt like I'd got used to it. The only thing that felt weird to me with the controller was genuinely after like a four or five hour session, my hands felt genuinely numb because of the amount of extra rumble there is and like the amount yeah. of there's always something going on in your hands. Where afterwards I was actually like, ow, that actually <laughs> kind of hurts a little bit, you know, or, you know, it's, it's really weird. Especially in, like I say, Astro's Playroom, like that that uses the dual sense for everything. And I mean everything, even when you're just walking Astro forward, like you will feel his steps going think, 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 think on either side of the controller, you know? Mm. There is not one movement you make in that game that you don't have some sort of feedback yeah, in the dual sense. True. So, and I, and, and, and I know what you're saying, and like going <laughs> into Miles Morales after that, I didn't really notice it too much. Like, um, like you, I could feel it was there, but coming off the back of Astro's Playroom, I was kind of like, God, they're not making as much use of this as they were in Astro. But I was kind of okay with that because if anything, it was a fun little gimmick in Astro, but it also kind of took away from what's, what you're actually playing, if you know what I mean, because yeah. you're kind of like, because this thing's going off in your hand all the time and you're blowing into it and you're doing all these silly things with it, you kind of, you know, don't necessarily, like, I wouldn't really want to be doing all that silly stuff while I'm trying to concentrate on the story of Spider-Man. Um, but I will say after, I because then I went and played, because I'm playing Final Fantasy, obviously, I went and played Final Fantasy 15 for a little bit, and that obviously doesn't make use of it at all because it's a PS4 game. Um, played that for a fair few hours, whatever, come back to Miles, and then I really noticed it again. And I was like, oh, all shit, right. they use this a lot. You know, so I think it depends, like, you know, what you're getting used to, what you've been playing before and after, and all does that it, kind of stuff. Does Miles use the haptic triggers for, like, swinging? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, I felt honestly, it. Yeah. I didn't notice it. Uh, I was just like, I felt it in, I, I felt it in, like, the the rumble you get with it not so much like the resistance for it but more so like the actual rumble going up the back of the uh, triggers right. like, like um i always felt like if i was clean if i like swung to a tree that was really nearby i couldn't push it down as far as like, there was a bit of resistance there whereas if i was going to a building it was like really like whoosh just like playing a ps4 controller if it was yeah. going off far um but yeah i, I but outside of the, i think the controller in general is brilliant i genuinely love it um Unlike you, Luke, I've not played my PS4 at all. I've only turned my PS4 on to like transfer data and stuff like that. I've not gone back. Any PS4 games I've played, which have only been Final Fantasy and FIFA, I've played on the 5 and enjoyed it more on the 5 because those games do genuinely run better. I mean, FIFA, in fairness, is pretty much the same just with faster loading times, but Final Fantasy 15, it's, you know, okay, I'm not going to go as far as say it's like a different game on PS5. But like it runs at 60 frames per second consistently, so it just looks yeah. way smoother, and I can massively see the difference. Where you know, I was kind of thought it was a little bit laggy, especially in the battles and stuff on PS4. Whereas now, I could be like fighting loads of enemies at once with all this crap going on, and, never and it just feels so smooth. Mm. Yeah, never once drops, and like I couldn't go back now and play it on the PS4, like because I'm, think... I'm already so used to playing it. You mentioned second. sort of like um, the loading screens there, and that's been the most next gen thing for me. Is um, is, is the lack of loading screens? I was saying um, the other day, like um, my wife was out, and she was like, "You didn't text me as much as you used to." I was like, "Well, I haven't looked at my phone because the game doesn't load at all, so I'm not. My phone's been completely neglected. It's just been sat on like to a point where, if you remember Spider Man PS4, when you fast travel." He would get on the subway, he'd ride along, it would give you this kind of like fake loading screen. To do that in Miles, you have to go into yeah. the options menu and actively turn it on. Otherwise, by the time you finish holding X to fast travel, Miles is already there. Cool. Like, he's there before you finish. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's going to make JLPG it's, so much I, more I easier. Can't, I, yeah, yeah, I can't definitely. stress enough. It's, it's instantaneous. It is literally instant. Like, not over-exaggerating, like Luke said. You literally press the button, and as your finger lifts X, you're walking out the subway. And it was like, what? How have I? And just loading into the game as well. Like, even I'm not sure this is going to happen on third party titles. Luke, you can probably tell me because you've been playing Valhalla. But like, I only saw the Marvel logo, the Insomniac logo, and all of that once. And once I'd seen it for the first time, that was it. You don't see it again. Whenever yeah. you load up the game, even from power off, you go straight from main menu straight into the options for load game, continue game, whatever. And then you go continue game and bang, instant, you're in the city. Yeah. It I timed it from literally the PlayStation being off 
So turn on the PlayStation, fit the game, go in. It was 20 seconds. To, to, from me turning on the PlayStation to being swinging around New York. I was like, what the hell? That was mental. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it, though. Like, I think it, it, I'm surprised how much I've noticed the difference in visuals. I thought that would be the thing I wouldn't notice. You know, for, oh, you know, every year you think, oh, how much better can it really get? But I think, like, with all the ray tracing and all that, I've actually really kind of noticed just extra little bits. Don't get me wrong. It's not like, oh, this is completely different. Ah! It's just like, I don't know, just lighting and stuff like that. It's substantial that enough, smooth. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's noticeable. Like, it's definitely, I 100% say it's noticeable. Like, to me, the reflect, because most things I'm looking out for it, because I've been, you know, explaining to you what ray tracing is, like, I will just notice things like, if I'm wearing a particular suit on Spider-Man and it's got like a reflective sort of shoulder or reflective bit on the suit, I will notice every little reflection in that suit is exactly what's in front of me. Uh, the... The incredible amount of detail is like yeah. mind blowing, really. I did think it when I got my when I got the green and purple suit. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Like the metal yep. green I know, and purple I know, one. I know exactly. Um, what you mean. That was when I really noticed, and I was like, "Wow, like, this looks wicked!" Yeah, right. He the, the reflections mm. coming off of that are pretty cool. Um, but you mentioned there about um, the difference between because obviously spider Man's a first party and there are third party things that might not be utilizing it as more. So, which brings me on quite nicely again um, to Valhalla, which I mentioned on the past couple of podcasts, how I reviewed it at a nine out of 10, and then I've gone down to a two out of 10. Well, I'm fully back up to nine out of 10 now since playing <laughs> on PlayStation 5, like 15 hours, not one bug. The loading times are a fraction of what they were on the PlayStation 4. The only issue I had with it, I was, I was like, I, I put 40 hours of trophy hunting into it and I've done all this cool stuff. And then when I started playing it, they were like, by the way, there are two different sets of trophies. So um, they're not going to sync. So there's no way all those PS4 trophies you've got are going to be on the PS5. And I was like, oh, for sake. so I was like really annoyed about it. And I was like, right, so I won't bother going for the platinum. And then just before we started recording the podcast today, I was like, I'll get a quick hour of our Haller in. And then I was like, oh, I've got a trophy. And another trophy. And another trophy. I was like, hang on a minute, I've gone from 1% of the trophies to 25% of the trophies in like 30 seconds here, and they synced, and I'm so happy about it. <laughs> so now I'm back on the platinum. So I, I've got a similar story, and this is like a pro and a con from the PS5. So I, I kept getting a little notification saying like, oh, PS, uh, yeah, PS Plus hasn't synced your Spider-Man save data for both remastered and Miles, because I've been playing them both. And it just kept going. Every time I launched PlayStation, I had an error message come up. So I got to the point where I was getting really annoyed with it. So I was like, right, click on it and just like, like, man. and then the option is like, delete, save, or like, you know, delete a uh, message or manually upload or whatever. Fuck it, manually upload these things. Um, then I had two results. The result on uh, Miles Morales was my save data was gone completely. It's, it's always been reverted back to an old one. So where luckily I'd finished the story. Um, but I'm not going to be able to go for the Platinum now because oh. my save data is back to like 14% into the game or something. Uh, it's basically just, and I looked online since it's happened to anyone else and it has, where they basically tried to upload it to the cloud and for whatever reason, the games looked at it and gone, oh, you want this auto save from like a week ago, do you? <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll upload that to the cloud, automatically download it to your fucking PS5 and your other one's gone. And it was like, I've what? never been so happy to know life a game before in my life. <laughs> Because I platinumed it like within three days or something. And then I did my second playthrough like by playing it. I did it all in one sitting, the second playthrough without stopping. So I've, when you told me that, I was like, oh, God, I've already done that. Because <laughs> yeah, that would be, I mean, admittedly, I'd probably just play it anyway. It's, it's I guess I think I'm, I'm not too heartbroken. Because like I say, I finished it. So it's not like, you know, I've lost, you know, I've lost anything. My trophies are still there for what I did. And I did complete it. It's just that going going for new game plus now would mean I have to play it twice now. But the game's that good that I will happily do that. The other side of that was then what happened with my um, Spider-Man save. So what I did with that is you can actually it tells you you actually have to go into the PS4 version and upload it there first, and then download it on the PS5 side. So I did that, mm. and I, the idea was, oh, I just want to play new game plus. Um, so I've got all my abilities straight away. I was like, right, cool. If I can carry them my save on PS4, then yeah, I'll just play New Game Plus and Remastered. So I did that. That would you like to download your save? Yes, I would. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Every 
Kofi got the platinum again instantly. <laughs> I was like, yes! <laughs> that, 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 that kind of made up for miles in a way. So although I'm probably not going to be able to get the miles platinum now, at least for a while until I'm happy to play through it another two times, I did get an extra platinum for Spider-Man Remastered just by loading my game. So, yeah, But you're... Yeah. Um, <laughs> to be fair because you've still got your PS4 as well, is if you go for the Platinum on Valhalla, at least if you load up the PS4 version now, another Platinum will ding for you. Oh, nice. Does that mean you can download <laughs> any... Like right like, cheap, but... You could just get any save file from a friend and download it and get all the trophies. Yes. Perhaps. That seems weird. I guess so. um, yeah, it is a bit off, but... It's I kind of probably won't do with, like, They'll probably no, patch... Yeah, it'll be like just because. I suppose at the moment they're not sure, are they? No, it doesn't so, seem like it. Yeah, they're, they're not sure how it's all going to work. And I think at the moment they're just like, you know, even if it means all these trophies are copying over or whatever, yeah. let's just make it so it's possible, you know, because there have been glitches with it. There have uh, been yeah. um, a lot of big patches with games on there to a point as well. Like I have trialed the PS4 version of Valhalla again and. Javier, I can totally recommend that you start Valhalla now because the PS4 version is stable. Oh, um, okay. And from what I've played, it works really well because I basically played it on there for a couple of hours. It didn't cock up. And then it's it's done with... It automatically saves to the Ubisoft Cloud. So all I had to do was manual save the game. Didn't have to upload it or anything like that. It automatically did all of that. Plugged my PS5 in, hit go, and it just picked up where I was from... 30 seconds ago on the PS4, which is wild. But the fact that Ubisoft can achieve that is absolute madness. Yeah, and yeah. they've done it in such a way that if I was to then start playing Valhalla on um, the Xbox, um, I would be able to get my Ubisoft Connect down like file and pick up the game from where I was on that. Like, it's madness. That's right? Madness. Absolute shocker. But um, So... Uh, last thing on PS5 before we jump off, Mars Morales. So we talked about Valhalla just quickly. On we've touched on my, but I also want to uh, just jump in and say, out of ten, where just stand, Luke? Ten, man. You're out of ten. Yeah, for, uh, easily. Like both my playthroughs were, um, they were the best game I've played in the decade. I know I quite um, it was proven to me by myself, um, but I. I do hand out tens a bit more generously than anyone else. Um, I think <laughs> I've got the most tens on the website than any like than anyone. Um, I think everyone's I got maybe, maybe. I do know somebody who gave Doom a ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, think I got, gave I got... Doom a ten as well. To be fair, <laughs> oh, I stick by it. The thing is, I never finished it. That's the best ten I ever gave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, to be honest, though, like you say, I'll oh, give out 10 to easy, so maybe, you know, that's unfair or whatever. I was, when I was doing my review, which you can check out, respawning.co.uk and on the YouTube channel. Um, when I was doing my review, I was there for ages. I ripped the whole thing and I literally got to the bottom. Blah, blah, blah. I give Spider-Man Mars Morales and I was just there for ages. I'm like, do I go 9.5 or do I go 10? And um, like, so to be fair, I can't argue with 10. I went 9.5 in the end. Uh, purely because um, I have had issues with it. Admittedly, I think that's more on the PS5 than it is Spider-Man, but I, it still hampered my enjoyment a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, you, I've got a... Con- I mean, it is a shorter game as well. I mean, I know it's... It, that is what it is, you know what I mean? You, you, it's, it's not trying to not be that, you know what I mean? It's like out there saying, no, this is a shorter game. But here in the UK, at least, they are still charging you full price for it, so... One well, it's four they are anyway. Yeah, I was gonna say. I it's suppose price it's, it's fifty like, quid for us, wasn't it? Which it is was still 50, like it a full was, price. Game. It was still. I think it was. I paid twenty quid less for it than I did for Demon Souls, though. So mm. I paid I, seventy quid, but that was with Spider Man Remastered as well. So oh yeah, then I upgraded. So I guess seventy quid, but then I got that bundled in. But I paid for the actual yeah. physical disc of it. I paid fifty, and then Demon Souls cost me seventy. So ridiculous, but yeah, overall, my, Miles is great. Um, I would though recommend having, I know we said it a million times before, but I would say hold off playing Miles on PS5 and let that be your first proper PS5 experience because I'm so glad I did because it, it proper made use of like the visuals. And although we said, you know, how much use of it does it really make in the controller, I think, um, because I did, I played Valhalla 
color for like um, the first 20 minutes or so just to because uh, I loaded it up anyway and I've installed it ready to play and I thought I'll give it a little run around and I didn't feel hardly anything on the pad so like you know I think Spider-Man out of, out of most of the games that are out probably other than Astro does make the most use of it and like I say the visuals are spectacular so I would say make Miles your first PS5 game if you can because yeah. you won't regret it it will be, it will be. Um, one yeah Right. One thing I want to touch on, sorry, before we, we crack on, yep. it's, it's just something that Javier mentioned earlier was about, he said how good the, the updated like loading screens would be for JRPGs. Now, that really interests me because I'm a massive weeb trash, but also because I know you're having a bit of a JRPG Pick. resurgence, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, hugely. Um, I mean, like, if you don't if you don't count Dark Souls, even though it's a Japanese RPG, it's you know it's a, it's not. Yeah, I'm playing Nino Kuni and um, Persona Five, which I've touched on. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm in heaven, and I'm almost like part of me wants to start another one, which is insane. But it's like when you're in that, and I, I think I I have got a video coming out soon on it. Um, I can't remember what order I recorded them in, if I'm honest, but. Um, it's almost like when you're in that world, when you're in in those games, they're all you want to play. So like, yeah. and for me, it's the monster capture ones. So I have played a couple of JRPGs where you don't, there's no monster capture mechanics. I don't like them as much, apart from Final Fantasy, I don't tend to enjoy them as much, but as soon as you get something where you can control it and level it up and, you know, evolve it, I'm like all in. And I don't know if it's the nostalgia of Pokemon or just because I like, training things <laughs> but yeah but persona 5 is just like and I've, I've said to mike like even though i know mike likes like some jrpgs but you're not the biggest fan it's like it's worth checking out for free because I, I like i said i'm like nearly 60 hours in and i i can't get enough still you know and that's that's it's, rare for a game it's well, phenomenal like persona 5 is potentially the best oh. RPG ever made so um, i have I have added it to my library on the PS Plus collection, so I haven't downloaded it yet, but it's in the library, it's in the library. I mean, it's good enough that I had a chat with Hav, a, a serious chat with Hav this week, where they've released a version of it called Persona 5 Royal, where mm. they've ultimately they've added like five hours of gameplay to this this 80-hour RPG. Yeah, it was on offer <laughs> for 25 quid, and I was like, Javier, I think I'm going to have to buy it. Because and he was like, you have the time to play it. I was like, no. And he's like, do you want to play one of the JRPGs that you haven't played before? You buy a new, buy one that you've already done. I was like, yes, fine. <laughs> and and this goes back to have you like him to train the things he has. Yes, <laughs> yeah. see. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I say it's like every like once or twice a year it, it happens and then I'm all like for a couple of months I'm all in and then it'll be enough for like another year so and then this year I have played I've completed like Pokemon Shield the Let's Go mm -hmm. uh, Persona 5 I'm gonna you know uh, Nino Kuni um, I don't know uh, Final Fantasy 10 I started again yeah um, just got stuck on Unalaska and I just haven't gone back yeah like second last boss yeah oh, she's so hard but yeah, no, it's like, so I, it's like, yeah, it's, I'm just on a massive kick. But then it's, yeah, I think it's also because, like, what I was saying to you, like, when I was playing Watch Dogs Legion, I think I would have enjoyed it more if I wasn't playing Persona 5. But because yeah. I'm playing Persona I just, I'm like, why do I want to waste my time on Legion, which is, a, is for me, it's a 7 out of 10, when I could be playing them, that's something that's a definite 10. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And also, you know, you say about giving out tens. I Very tend to way. play the ten out of tens after they come out. I found that a lot of my favorite games I'm playing like three years after release, like Dark Souls, you know, like Bloodborne, Odyssey. like Persona Five, like Odyssey. Yeah. And do and do you think they're your favorite games, and you're genuinely giving them a ten out of ten? From you know, maybe because you're not reviewing them, and they're like, you know, you've got more time, and mm. you're not thinking, oh, what am I going to say about this, and sort of making yeah. little notes and stuff Just like that. You know, I wonder if that's got something. To do with it, I don't know, because like, yeah, honestly, I could, chilled. I did write like two articles on about just how much, about how much I gushed over it. So I did, anal I did, I did analyze it. And it's like when you can play a game for like more than forty hours and you don't find any part of it boring. How is it not a ten out of ten? That's what I think. Yeah, yeah, good. true. Yeah, yeah. I just think like when I reviewed Last of Us Part Two, like never at one point actually did I think 
was I stressing about reviewing it or anything like yeah. that? I was just like, I'm so in just on this it. and I'm just having the best time. So yeah, no, good point. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on a JRPG. Yeah, you are. You know? Yeah, you are. Yeah. So, so, where are, where, so where, how so you never know, know I, I might like the not, Yeah. Is it impossible to be friends with us and not get into yeah. JRPG at some point? How far into 15 are you? To be now? honest, I genuinely think if it weren't for, uh, I've just arrived at the place where, oh God, what's it called? Uh, the big white shiny city where everyone oh, gets oh, around oh, on oh. boats. Yeah, yeah, everyone gets around on the little boats and stuff. Um, Atisha, Atisha, something like that. Yeah, you've got a proper. Um, you got some proper cool bits coming up. So. Yeah, I thought I thought you were going to say you've got a way to go. I was like, I've already put thirty five hours into it. You've still got, <laughs> like, a, way, you've well, got yeah. a way to go. You're like you're getting to halfway, I think. Well, memory. you're getting to halfway in the story, but before you go there is the bulk of the game, I'd say, because that's where like. 90% of the side quests are because you said you spent a lot of time just going around hunting yeah. in that one area that makes up yeah I've because I've already got yeah so I've already got like um all the tro well all but one of the trophies for side quests I've only, I've, got, okay. I've only got one trophy left for completing base. so I've done a fair chunk of side quests like I basically if they're there and they're not too far away from my level I will do them mm. So, yeah. yeah, I've got loads. And basically, the only ones I've got left on my screen at the moment are the ones that I'm either, like I said, not high enough level to do or um, literally I can't get to because they're in a location I've not reached yet. So, yeah. Um, I, I know what you're saying. Since I... All right. I mean, I'm not sure if I will yeah. platinum it. I think it's one of them things where if I, if I complete it and I've got, you know, a decent, like, 70 to 80% of them, I might just go around and mop up the rest. But we'll see. At the moment, I'm doing everything on it. I'm, I'm not like skipping yeah. corners or rushing it. I'm, especially now as well, like playing it on the five and everything. And those fucking load screens are gone because that was one of my biggest like frustrations. Was oh, would you like to skip traveling here in the car? Um, and I'm like, yeah, pay ten dollars or whatever it is to skip this. And then they were like, loading screen for five minutes. Oh, go make a coffee. <laughs> but now those are pretty much all but gone. So I think I'm enjoying it a little bit more. Um, uh. Right, before we get out of here, so we've house playing JRPGs. <laughs> Luke, you're saying you're playing Valhalla and Miles. Is there anything else you are playing? Um, you said about you just bought uh, Devil May Cry 5 again, but remastered. Yeah, so you I bought the special edition. on that yet? Um, only, so yeah, I played edition, the normal game. One. Is it remastered? Is yeah, it remastered yeah, or is got, it literally just a few extra bits? It's, it? got, um, it's got like ray tracing and stuff um, added back in. Okay. It's quite good. Um, but does it look good? Bits I've played, wicked, and you get to play as Virgil. Do you get to play from him? <laughs> do, you get, do you get to choose what character you want to play each level with completely? Um, no, it's still the same game, but there's a Virgil campaign added in. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so so far, I was like, right, load up the game. Would you like to play as Virgil? Yes, please. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> but that's, that's all I bought yes, it for. Yes, I would. <laughs> it's the only reason so I got it. I was not? like. I just want to play as Virgil. Like I did it with Devil May Cry 3 when that originally came out. Um, they were like, oh yeah, you've played Devil May Cry 3, but have you played Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition with the Virgil campaign? I was like, no, mum, can I please have Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition with just this Virgil campaign? It's almost uh, like they've got a plan of action that works every time. <laughs> yeah. I'd say that like I also would have loved it because they've got a separate set of trophies, but being Devil May Cry, the trophies are impossible. Like it's, I'm never, I'm yeah. never doing the mode where all the enemies die in like hard difficulty, and I'm still. Oh, I can, I can it. never ever do a Devil May Cry platinum. Never, no, no chance. <laughs> no, not at all. No, nah. Uh, anything else you're playing before we uh, wrap up? I mean, again, just Rift Squadron to me, but Dark Souls. <laughs> As always. Oh, you guys can't. You're not talking about Dark Souls again. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so Dark Souls. I'm currently have I'm currently playing four different playthroughs of Dark Souls games. <laughs> I've got a playthrough with just have, a playthrough with Javier and Zeke, then I've got my Sekiro playthrough, then I'm playing Demon Souls a bit as well. It's yes, madness. Not that they are like the best games ever. But they are. That's so fun, co op. Uh, and if you want to yeah, see what I really think about them being co op, don't forget to go back and check out my co op video. Always a salesman. Yeah, always a salesman. 
Oh, um, before we do get out of here, I've been playing Hyrule Warriors. So. Oh yeah, and you love oh, it. Yeah. I, I I do love it. Um, I reviewed it. I gave it quite a decent score. If you want to go to see that, you can again on our YouTube channel, um, or on the website. Uh, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it for what it is. Um, I know Luke, you were saying earlier, like you know, you attempted to buy it. I would highly recommend to you and everyone else to try the demo because you'll get a really good taste of it. You get the good. I don't know. I think it's at least an hour or so of the actual game, and it carries over as well. So if you do play that first chapter and you really like it. You can literally then just buy the game, and you've still got that first, um, yeah. still got that first chapter. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's just so much dumb fun. If I'm being honest, there's, I've never really. There's a few bosses that sort of challenge me a bit, and maybe actually have to stop and think about what I'm doing. But for the majority of it, it is just it, well, it's exactly what you'd expect from these type of games: just going through and destroying everything, just in a world that's decorated by Breath of the Wild, mm-hmm. and with noises and visual effects and everything else you'd expect from Breath of the Wild. So, yeah, it's almost like you're getting to just mess around in that world without any of the difficult bits. And, you know, maybe that's for some people and not others. But for me, it's just been so much fun. Just like, because I've been getting the bus to work this week and it's just great for half hour sat on the bus. Right, I'm just going to go through this battlefield and destroy everybody. You know, (laughs) it's just so much fun. Um, I would say, like, if you're... Yeah, <laughs> try the demo. Just try the demo, mate. I think I do think you'd enjoy it. Um, I think you might get addicted to it. I, I, I can't put it down to be honest. It's the only Switch get well, I've got a load of Switch games on the go, but everything else has been stopped for a while while I play this. Um, I will say that like it looks great artistically because it's got that Breath of the Wild style, but like after spending so long, obviously on the PS5 for a week, going on to that, like on the smaller screen with like you know, just sort of lower lower graphics or typical Switch graphics. It was kind of like, oh, ish. Mm. Also, though, I thought that, and then I looked it up, and a lot of people actually have been complaining that it's um, it really drops on frame rate. Like, in certain battles, the frame rate can drop as low as, like, below 20 frames per second at a time. So I was Oof. like, oh, maybe it's not just me. I was thinking, oh, you know. I've not noticed it too much. I, and I thought it was just me because I've been playing the PS5 so much. I thought, oh, it's just, you know, I'm just not used to this. So it was kind of satisfying to go online and see, no, actually, there's been a lot of people complaining that, yeah, it does drop a fair bit. So I don't know if they're going to patch that or anything. Um, but it's not been a game breaker for me. It's not happened often enough where it's like, oh, I can't play this or anything. But it, it is noticeable. Um, but yeah, no, I would genuinely recommend it. It's probably the best Switch game I've played this year, I think. Yeah. Um, I've not played Hades, though, which everyone says is the game. But. Having not played that, this is my Switch game of the year so far. I thought we lost half then. No, I, 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 I nearly dropped my... <laughs> oh, that would be good. I think, you know, I know we're going to do our game of the years, um, but I do think that maybe we should do separately Switch because like, they're seen differently. Like, I, know I have got at least one Switch game that's in my top of the, the year, but, you know, I do think, yeah, you have to treat them differently to PlayStation games. They're a different beast. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you do yeah. look at them differently. You know, but then again, um, I think about I think about my year in game, and I'm like, a lot of the good Switch games again are old ones because uh, I've only had to Switch this year. Um, but like Switch releases, like have there been that many amazing ones? Like not really. Well, you say that, but like you look at the Game Awards, there are two Switch games nominated for Game of the Year. So I think you know whether I mean that's Animal Crossing and Hades. Two completely different games. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think you can't, although like none of us here are massive fans of something like Animal Crossing, you can't deny the appeal of a game like that, you know. So it's like, there has been big switch games this year, just maybe mm-hmm. games that aren't necessarily for us. Yeah, maybe. Um yeah. right, shall we leave it there, boys? I know you guys want to go play some Dark Souls, so we hate we'll, Dark like, Souls. You Don't ever do play that. Dark Souls because you're <laughs> Whole life would change, you'll never want to play anything else ever again. Uh, Literally, and if I, you play Dark Souls, all you'll do is just like Dark Souls. Unless, my, unless you're about, uh, unless you're, about Dark Souls for every podcast ever. Unless you're Mike, where he had a really good time <laughs> doing a drunk stream of Dark Souls, never played it again. He's weird. That's all right, he'll get added to the PS. I had a good time. One of them will get added to the PS collection soon. Yeah, and he'll, then he'll have to try it. Well, technically, if we're sharing accounts, I. No, 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 Demon Souls, you've got physical, didn't you? Ah, never yeah. mind. Don't start with Demon Souls. I bought them all. I had Great. to get Demon Souls physical because I now own all of the Dark Souls games physical. 
I might buy you Dark Souls one one day. Just for, like if if I see it for like ten quid, I'm going to buy it for you, Mike. And then you feel inclined I to just, play it. I think you might be wasting ten quid. <laughs> no, <Nah>, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it a go just to keep you happy, but I've done that once already. That yeah, was very good. Um, anyway, go play it. Um, as always, uh, I've, I've plugged the YouTube channel and the website enough, so I'm not going to do that again. Just go follow us on Twitter, Respawn in UK. Uh, we will be back in two weeks' time um, with probably starting to talk about Game of the Year contenders by that point, I would have yeah, thought. Yeah, definitely. And am I right in saying in two weeks' time, we will be very close to Cyberpunk, or might even have it. We'll have it. I'm oh my really god! Sure I don't know. What, I don't know where I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to wait to, to. To. I don't know if I'm going to wait. I mm. wouldn't bother because well, the PS5 version is. We'll out be playing the PS mid. Yeah, the PS5 uh, version is out until like middle of next year or something. Is that yeah, one like you can try? Is that one yeah, you can we'll try across? We'll, we'll be playing the <laughs> PS4. Huh? Okay, we'll play okay. PS4 version, mate. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank anyway, so yeah, we will be back in two weeks to discuss all those things. Thank you. We'll see you in a few weeks. Bye. <laughs>